What is going on everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And this is gonna be a fun one. At least I think it is. But what what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a Steve Harvey animation using Animaker. Stick around for that right after the intro. Okay. So how do you make a Steve Harvey animation using Animaker is going to be the question. So we're going to dive right into it so you can see exactly how. When Animaker has been doing some updates and in the middle of their updates, they have this, what we see here, let me move this out of the way. We have a Steve Harvey person that we can actually use an avatar. So what we're going to do is the first thing that we're going to do is says start with character. So I'm going to just start with Steve Harvey and we're going to do a simple YouTube type video. All right. Now, hopefully this purpose of this video is to give you some ideas that you can actually use in terms of or, or make when actually utilizing Animaker with some of their character sets, their avatar sets. Now, I'm hoping I can really inspire somebody to do something really hilarious, get your imagination just running wild with something like this Steve Harvey avatar or this lookalike. It may not look like Steve Harvey to you, but I'm about to make this come to actual life just by using this avatar right here. So we have our Steve Harvey here on the canvas, and our canvas is completely blank. Now I have some things already set because I used this previously in a video that I actually did for my campus. Move that out the way, please. But let me go ahead and explain a few things in order to make this animation come true. So you see down here, Animaker has a very simplistic timeline that you can actually utilize in terms of creating your scenes, making animations move. We're going to do some very simple things here. I'm going to actually show you how to align the, some voiceover work um, and how to actually do the timings with this. So our Steve Harvey is going to be off the screen for a second. All right. And he's going to walk about three seconds. So I'm going to shrink his character animation movement down because we're going to make him walk on for three seconds. Let me actually add a, uh, let me see here. I'm going to add this smart timeline because we want Steve Harvey. We'll move him to the end right here. All right. We want him to walk center stage about three seconds. I think that's about right. So now we should be able to see. So he's going to move at least that much for three seconds. And I'm going to hit apply. All right. So we're now going to find a walking motion. So now I'm going to type in walking. That'll be the fastest way to pinpoint this out. So we have several animations here in our panel, so I don't want him walking happy. I just want him doing a normal walk, so we gotta kinda scroll down. All right, we don't want him walking angry. We want him doing a well, normal walk. Here it is. I don't know why this normal walk is all the way at the bottom. It should be at the top because it's a normal walk. It's nothing special about what he's doing right now at this moment, okay? So we want him off the screen because we don't want him just walking in place for three seconds until he actually moves. So now that we have him in a walking motion, we need to actually test this out now. So I'm gonna hit play. Okay. And it should end about three seconds. He should disappear. So that's about right. Now, now when we get to the three second mark, I'm gonna click this on. We know that, okay, we need this, this Steve Harvey right here. Okay, so I want to add another. Um, I want to add another Steve Harvey insertion. Okay, now, so the simplest way in order to duplicate this is to actually do. I'm on a Mac, so I had to hit Command C, and then I had to hit Command V in order to do a simple copy and paste because I wasn't actually seeing a duplication icon or anything like that here on the uh, panel markers that they actually gave me. So now what we need to do is we need to have Steve Harvey perform a different action. Okay, we want him just standing still. Now we don't want him doing any other motion. So I'm going to trash this one at the end. And we just want this Steve Harvey now to be dead center. Okay. And we're going to change his, his motion and have him actually just stand in his like game show host like position. 
All right, we'll leave him crying for now. We'll we'll leave him crying with laughter at this moment in time. That's what we'll keep Steve Harvey doing at this moment. So we're going to give him this laughter position. So the minute that Steve Harvey, from the beginning, walks onto the scene, okay, it's going to convert, okay, transition out, and we want this to, now we want this second position to last all the way up until the end of the 10-second marker, all right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a backdrop. I'm going to add a background here. Okay, so we have our family few image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it. I'm going to place it over here. But we really want to set this as the background. That's what we actually want to do. So we have two options. So I can either drag it. Okay. And place it just like that. Or there's a way where you can actually click on the image. And it should give you the option somewhere here to where you can actually set his background. There we go. Okay, now it fits into our entire background. That's what I was actually going for. All right, so we have this set for the whole scene. So now let's replay this to make sure that from the beginning, Steve Harvey walks in. I'm actually minimize that. Okay, he's crying with laughter. All right, and that's what we're going to have him do. Just walking on the scene here. All right, so. So now what I want to do next is I want to add the laugh track that I actually have. And this is actually going to be inspired from Godfrey on the Godfrey channel where he was actually making an impersonation of Steve Harvey. Here goes my Steve Harvey impersonation. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't really good. So we're gonna leave it to Godfrey on this one. So let's go ahead and pull up the laugh track that I actually have for him. The way that you're going to add this now is you're going to click on the I think it's the music area. No, 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 it's not the music. Hold on one second here. Okay, no, here it is. So I'm gonna add it to my voice. I'm gonna click on this folder and I'm going to upload it. Okay. And let me see where is it at? I have it under my morning announcements. Okay. All right, Harvey laughed. That's what I have it as. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear yeah, that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's pulled from a segment off of his podcast. Just a small little clip for the demonstration of this. So now, all right. So now what we need to do is we need to go back. All right. And I'm going to click on the character piece because now from the time that he starts in this animation mode, we're going to switch back. Make sure that we're in the character animation setting right here. Okay, and then I'm going to now go to, we want to assign him the audio laughter. All right, so let's see here. I'm going to click on him, and we're going to now click on this voice over microphone icon. Oh, okay, so certain, it looks like certain expressions won't allow you to actually do a voice over recording. So let's go ahead and let's change his expression then if that is the case. So let's see him just standing here. All right. And we want his expression to be uh, laughing. Let me see here. What is the laughing one that looks like it? Okay. So this thick mustache really isn't going to tell the difference, but that's probably as close as we're going to get. So now let's see if we can actually do it. Yep. Now we can do it for this particular action. Okay, it's too bad we couldn't do it for the actual one where he's laughing. But let's see here. Let's go back. Uh, okay, these are all my right. other ones. So let's find Harvey. Harvey laugh. Here it is right here. Yeah. So we're going to sync the Harvey laugh. So now let's actually see how this turned out. Our scene is exactly 10 seconds. So let's play the whole entire animation from start to finish. Okay, so that was about as long as it was going to go. So that synced very well. And that's pretty much how you actually create a Steve Harvey animation. And when you're ready to actually publish it, you just go ahead and click publish. And you can download the video. Since I have a paid account, the highest I can actually export it as is at HD 720. So you need some other, you know, premium features in order to get the 1080p. But for now, the uh, HD 720 is what we're going to export it as at. 
but I'm not going to do that now. I just wanted to show you, you know, how do you actually export it into a video form. So Animaker is a really good tool that you can use, especially if you're a writer. On my other YouTube channel, Deshaun Johnson, I talk about Animaker for writers, but if you're trying to make marketing material and you're trying to actually do some things for other people in the tech realm and, and make explainer videos, tutorials, or what have you, this is a good anim this tool is a good it's a it's a good piece for you to do that. It's a great tool in order to accomplish that thing. Now what I'm going to go back and do now now is take you to my YouTube channel and show you what I use to make Animaker for Arrogant Programmer. Cause this whole thing was made through Animaker. As soon as I find it real fast here, where are you at? Arrogant program there we go. Right there in the corner. Really? Well, isn't that behavior that you're used to, Dewan? Hey, 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 man, cool. It, isn't it a bit too early in the morning for you to be this racist? Anyway, don't you have a basement to crawl back into without any sunlight? Or is it that one time of the month again where you emerge to find social skills? <laughs> That's why I always like having you as a coworker. It makes me feel like I'll always have an edge without even trying. Okay, so that was me do filming both characters, all right? Trying to be different, trying to find a way to, you know, broaden my horizons and, and share my talents around, if you want to say it like that. But, yeah, so you can use Animaker to make full cartoons, regardless of whether people think this was pretty decent or even if it sucked. For me, it allowed me to stretch my talents go beyond my comfort zone in order to see where my writing skills where my writing talents can go if i can be able to write cartoons script them that sort of thing so i was really excited to actually use this in order to make a little short episode all right i wanted to make a whole series out of this and i had other scripts but i just never got around the time to doing a voice recording and those sorts of things so this is a testament to animaker's power and how you can actually use it if you're trying to do something different online besides just make little simple explainer videos with the, you know, the the sitcom music. The doom, 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 So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys with Animaker. Anyway, if you're interested in trying this out for yourself, there is a link in the description for you to try and get a trial run on this. You can use Animaker for free, but if you want to really get its full benefits without all the limitations of the minutes and everything else, Okay, so here you go. So let's put this on monthly. So, all right. Now, it's clicked on monthly. So you can actually see the basic plan. I pay $20 a month because that's what I'm using. $35 and $79 for um, the pro plan. Uh, but it's free for as long as you actually need it. And here go to actual limitations that you have for each plan. Uh, you get five downloads per month without with the watermark. If you're doing for free, 10 gift downloads. Uh, you get three premium custom tracks. All right. And yeah, you can check this out on your own to see what's going to fit you. If you're interested in leveraging this tool in order to really bring more of your writing, bring more of your ideas to life in a very clean, very presentable and, and fun, colorful animation provided through Animaker. That's going to be it for this video. Link is in the description for that. It is an affiliate link. I am an affiliate fan of Maker and I've been using them since 2020. When we was locked down in the pandemic, that's when I made that cartoon. And I've been using it for other people as well to help them provide certain other animations when it comes to presentations, announcements, and that sort of thing. All right.